Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here on the Cat Scrappiness channel for a little product intro. Today I'm going to be sharing a look at the new telescopic embossing powder tool with retractable brush which is now available on the Cat Scrappiness website and will be linked in the description box below. We will take a look at the tool itself, learn a little about it, I will show you how to fill it, and how to get started using it. This tool will be a great addition to your arsenal. Not only can you use it for the standard keep your embossing powder only where you want it when you're heat embossing, but if you're making a shaker window and you have you know, your adhesive around the window and it's a little bit sticky and you don't want your sequins or other embellishments sticking to it, you can use it on there as well. Here's what it looks like when it arrives. It does come empty, but otherwise you can always see right here in this clear opening how much of your powder you have left. Now another thing I like about this new tool, when it runs out of powder, you don't have to throw this whole thing away and buy a new one with more plastic, you get the embossing powder tool refills. These are also sold at the Cat Scrappiness online store. This is the 15 milliliter, but you can also buy a mega refill, which is two ounces. So you could just fill it as much as you need, zip it back up in the pouch, and then continue to heat emboss or make your shakers. Now let's get a closer up look at the tool. There is a cap on it and you'll see a nice, oh this is so soft, just a nice soft brush. Now you might be wondering, how are you going to get your cat back on there and not ruin those bristles? Watch this. You pull up the plastic piece and it covers the bristles. Then you can put on your lid and push it back down. Now that pumping action is also how later on you're going to get your tool ready for the embossing powder to come out. What do you say we go ahead and get this thing filled? I pulled in a couple other items to help me fill my tool today. The first one is the small embellishment funnel tray and the embellishment spoon both by Cat Scrappiness and they will be linked in the description box below. The powder compartment, not only does it have a twist off cap, but for some extra protection to keep your powder in the tool, there is a little plug inside or kind of like a plastic cork. And all you have to do is just kind of grab it, rotate it and pull out. Now, if grabbing this is not something you're able to do, you could also get a pair of pliers and just twist and pull gently on that. Now you can see we have our empty chamber and we're gonna get this filled with some powder. I'm gonna go ahead and just carefully dump everything into my funnel tray. Make sure to keep that cap on. There are some chunks. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of break those up a little bit with my spoon. And now I'm going to bring in just a random scrap of cardstock. That way, if anything does overflow onto my surface, I can catch the powder and get it put back either in the funnel or into the pouch that it came in. I'm just going to gently tap here and watch it fill up. Gonna help it along just a little bit with my spoon and I think for now that's going to be plenty of powder to get us started. Before I knock this over and knock out my powder I am going to go ahead and replace the stopper and the twist on cap. So you'll see here now you can see the powder in the bottom of the tool. Because my powder is already in the funnel I can just go ahead and pour the extra right back into the bag. The nice thing about this is it is a zipper bag, so you don't have to worry about finding something else to put this in so you can seal it. And then when you're all done, if you have any that fell onto the cardstock, 
you can just make a little fold in it and just put the rest right back in the bag. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. Normally the first time that you fill it or use it, you do need to do a little prepping. And what you need to do is pump this maybe three times. Now later on, if you find that your tool is not putting out any powder, you'll put the lid on, give it a couple pumps, and then it should be reloaded. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to bring in a dark piece of cardstock just to see if we have any powder coming out yet. And I don't see any, and that is something else I want to tell you. This little chamber down here can lock. So if you find that after pumping your powder is not coming out, you're going to give it a little turn until it clicks. Then put your lid back on and pump it again. And now you might be able to see it, I'm not sure on camera, but it's a little bit white here. Then you should just be able to take your tool and now you see it's coming out. Now we're all ready to heat emboss. To give this a test today, I got out the new For the Love of Donut stamp set, which coordinates with our new Heart Builder Donut die set. And I'm just going to choose one to stamp and heat emboss with white powder on a piece of black cardstock. For the test, I am going to choose donuts, an excuse to eat cake for breakfast, to do my stamping. I'm just going to use a stamp block today for this. And I will be stamping with Versamark, just a clear embossing ink. Let's go ahead and prep our piece of cardstock. And then I will heat emboss like normal. That looks really good. I don't see any stray embossing powder around it. Over here is a little bit of the powder from the tool, and that was there before. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some more on here. That worked beautifully. For more information and to purchase the new embossing tool and refills, make sure to check out the links in my description box. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.